The National Defense Authorization Act just passed the Senate today in a decisive vote, and it gives a $633 billion spending budget for the military. And this thing is not being looked at at all by the mainstream media. If we're going to talk about the fiscal cliff and, you know, the widening deficit and all of these economic problems, why are our politicians, uh, the Republicans and some of the big government Democrats, why are they ignoring this elephant in the room? This is $633 billion of spending. Apparently there's a provision in there which allows federal money to be used on propaganda on U.S. soil for the first time since I believe World War II. This means that our taxpayer money starting in 2013 can be used to tell the American people lies, to literally make stuff up and then advertise it on TV and through other media outlets using our money. And it doesn't have to be truthful, it can be propaganda. That's in the NDAA and also the imprisonment without trial controversy. The NDAA, last year's version that was passed, has uh, indefinite detention provisions, section 1021, would allow the military to imprison American citizens on U.S. soil without charge or trial, without access to a trial. And they can do that on suspicion alone. So if anybody in the government says, hey, I think this might be a bad guy, this might be a, a terrorist, they can imprison you for the rest of your life and not give you a trial nor even access to an attorney. It's totally scary, fucked up stuff. If you've ever been through a TSA line, you know that the government is not always efficient and they make mistakes and you don't want to wind up on the wrong person's list and then end up going to prison not having access to a trial and an attorney. These are really basic things. I mean, your right to a trial is enshrined in the Constitution, in the Bill of Rights. It seems kind of silly that we even have to talk about this stuff because it's such a basic part of our system, such a basic part of what it means to be an American citizen, that you do have a right to a trial and the government cannot lock you up for the rest of your life for no reason without bringing any charges against you and without giving you the opportunity to explain yourself in front of a, a jury of your peers. So this is all in the NDAA. The mainstream media, for whatever reason, is totally ignoring it. If you try to tweet uh, mainstream media anchors or producers, they will either ignore you or they will tell you that they've already covered this. They have not covered this. They have not covered the fact that the uh, Feinstein Amendment to the NDAA, which would have blocked indefinite detention of American citizens, even though it had broad support from both parties, the last minute was withdrawn. It is no longer in the bill. And uh, what do you need to do right now? I know this sounds really complicated because it is. Everybody out there who has some free time on your hands, just download this year's bill. You can get it, I believe, on govtrack.us or on the Senate and House websites. Read it yourself. Find some sections that, that you find to be troubling and post those sections on Reddit and dig. Get the word out. We really need to crowdsource this thing and do the research ourselves and do it very quickly. And it's something that everybody needs to read up on, everybody needs to talk about here on YouTube, over on Twitter, on Facebook. This is a huge issue that the mainstream media is ignoring and it affects you and me directly and all Americans, all uh, 312 million of us.